Please welcome to the stage, Tim Ludwith. Thank you. Tell you when that uh, Dollar Tree becomes the Dollar Twenty Nine Tree, I'm fucking out. Reba Dare Chi, gonna fade to black. Man, I saw this guy um, the other day at a bar, and oh my god, he had a tattoo of brass knuckles on him. Listen, people. Only three types of guys get uh, uh, brass knuckle tattoos. Those who would definitely use brass knuckles, those who definitely would not use them, and those who might. <laughs> I was a teenage sex worker growing up. I know it sounds glamorous. Wasn't all giving uh, Mrs. Robinson her groove back under the Tuscan sun. <laughs> a lot of, uh, you know, blow blowing creepy old guys. But listen, like, it wasn't that bad. Because like, uh, I also worked at, a, a, as a teenager, I worked at a subway <laughs> in a mall, southeastern Massachusetts. And it was also, it was a mall that there was a lot of, um, you know, upper class and like lower class people at it. You know, I don't know if you guys know this, but like two of the worst customers you could ever have at a subway in a mall are upper class and lower class people. Second only to middle class people. <laughs> middle class, we gotta save the middle class. Fuck that, more like the boring class. But yeah, you know, with, with the sex work, even when it was at its worst, you know, you know, you, you get a DVD remote shoved up your ass, or you have the, like a, you know, the, the sludge of an old gray penis on your face. The smells and, 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 and tastes and, and feels and sensations of that experience, they just, you know, you do some drugs, they go away. But that Italian herb and cheese bread smell stays with you forever. I'm saying I'm, I, I suffer from a post-traumatic subway disorder. <laughs> oh yeah, I was well, I was back home, uh, you know, back in Boston, near where I grew up recently, and I, I saw this uh, saw my old. You know, they say you can never go home again. It's true. You know, like uh, I see uh, my old my old Burger King. You know, now it's a super cut. <laughs> Fuck gentrification. <laughs> Portland is different from Boston. <laughs> no, I mean, like, people complain here. They're like, oh, everyone's so passive aggressive. It's like, it's better than aggressive aggressive. <laughs> I've never, I never, never been stabbed in Portland for having eyes. <laughs> the fuck are you looking at? Don't look me in the eye. Look me in the eye like a fucking man. I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you guys like impressions? <laughs> see if you guys can get, I've been working on this new one. Let's see if you guys can guess it, hold on. I'm the star from Carl's Jr. See, clearly. <laughs> clearly. You guys, you guys, anyone here get high? You guys get, like to get high? <laughs> you ever get so high after uh, putting a syringe full of crystal meth into the crook of your arm that you just want to feel like that every day forever? What's up with that? <laughs> Being a drug addict's like no fair. It's like not fair. It's like I don't care where you live. You could, you know, be in a mansion or homeless or in a hotel or something. 
You know, like there's so many things on the ground of where you live that look like little pieces of crystal meth and crack cocaine, but they never are that. <laughs> so let's get off your knees, America. Let's get back to work, all right? But you know, another thing about that, that that's, that's so not fair, is like, yeah, you never drop the drugs, okay? But on the flip side, you are definitely completely covered in bugs. <laughs> All the time. Um, I don't know what, I, I have no conception of time because I have holes in my brain. What, 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 what am I doing? What do I got? One minute? Okay. I think I got, I think I got it with the one minute. Okay, good. Because you guys like depressions, right? <laughs> Here in America, everything is so, uh, uh, you know, everything's so small these days. You know, you get the uh, food cards, smart cards, uh, fly sliders, <laughs> tiny sandwiches, trying to jump on the bandwagon. Here's something I call um, uh, micro impressions. Okay? Ronald Reagan uh, uh, waiting in line at uh, Universal Studios on a hot summer day. <sighs> Jennifer Love Hewitt getting cut off in traffic. <gasps> Enrique Iglesias getting a colonoscopy. <clears throat> Jerry Lewis falling into a wrinkle in time. <laughs> All right, that's about my time. Thank you.